गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई एम वर्षा एंड टूडे इज माई बर्थडे सो आई थॉट वट बेटर देन शेयरिंग अ रियली यमी ट्रीट रेसिपी विथ यू गाइज सो हियर अ मिनी मारी बिस्किट लेयर्ड चॉकलेट केक विच इज अ नो बेक रेसिपी यू जस्ट नीड टू रेफ्रिजरेट इट एंड यू नीड जस्ट फाइव इंग्रीडियंट्स टू मेक इट सो लेट्स बिगेन सो फॉर फर्स्ट आई थिंक वी शुड स्टार्ट विथ मेकिंग द गनाश सो it is basically a thick chocolate sauce that you can use not just for this recipe but for frosting your cakes as well so for making ganache what you need to do is heat a pan and once it's heated add in some milk i added about 1 and 1/2 cup of milk and this depends on how much cocoa powder you are going to use or how much ganache you want to make so i added about 1 and 1/2 cups of milk and to that i'm going to add about same amount of cocoa powder so i added first a little bit and then when i mixed it it was quite runny and not so thick so i added added in more and then i felt like the consistency was good and the cocoa powder was enough so that much is how much i added so you can always check this by also tasting a little bit but be careful because it's quite hot and now because this is unsweetened cocoa powder so you need to add some sugar so i have added about 4 teaspoons of sugar to this and this also depends upon your choice if you like more sweet then add more sugar and if you like a little bitter dark chocolate kind of taste then add less sugar After that all you need to do is stir this really well using a fork or a whisk to make sure that there are no lumps at all and once you are done stirring it very well and there are no lumps then just uh, put the gas on medium high and then let it come to a boil once it once it comes to a little bit of boil then you will see that it has start thickening up so you don't need to thicken it up a lot because when it will cool down it will thicken up even more so just adjust the consistency according to a like a creamy sauce a really nice chocolate sauce and then you'll be good to go Now that our chocolate sauce is all ready and cooled down slightly, it's time to begin with our recipe. So all we need is some Mari biscuits and our chocolate sauce that we made just right now, and some water and instant coffee. So with this instant coffee and water, I'm just making a mixture of coffee, like a coffee concoction, with which I'm going to dip the Mari biscuits into. so you will see that ahead so what i did was i added about a spoonful of coffee into half cup of normal room temperature water and then stirred it well and then i took this this coffee mixture into a plate so that i can easily dip my biscuits into it the next step is to get some mari biscuits of course and you can take as many as you like as much tall you want to make your mari biscuit tower you can take that many biscuits so i took about 8 biscuits and now let's start layering the cake so what i'm going to do in the dish in which i want to keep it i will just dip one biscuit into the coffee mixture and put it onto that plate after that i will spread a little bit of the chocolate sauce that we made and then again i will take another biscuit dip it into the coffee mixture and put it on top of it and then spread the chocolate ganache and then repeat the steps that is how it is going to go so just keep repeating the steps and make sure that your tower does not collapse and then once you're satisfied with layering up the biscuits you will be done then all you need to do is chill this cake into the fridge for at least an hour or two until you feel it's nice and set and then after that you'll be ready to eat it
cake is now nice and set i left it in the fridge for overnight but you can of course do it for one or two hours and let's cut through it it's really soft and it feels amazing it feels almost like a real cake while i'm cutting it because it's so soft and so moist from inside the mari biscuits have absorbed the coffee mixture and the chocolate sauce mixture and they have become really nice and soft and moist and you will see when i take out this piece just look at it there are so many layers of mari biscuit and it looks like a mini cake in real so i really love this recipe it's amazing you guys should definitely give it a try and if you do give it a try then let me know share your pictures with me on my instagram and if you guys like this video then as always don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one till then bye